chilly, chilly, chilly. Part of me wishes that I brought my um, ear warmers because it is quite chilly this morning. Well, it's only 1030. Nice late morning, later morning than normal. We're back here again on Lake Waramug where, well, actually, I take that back. I am back here on Lake Waramug. Jason is riding here from the house. So I was gonna do, or I'm doing a, another workout called bricolage. I think that's how you pronounce it. So because I'm doing this workout, it's best to do it on the lake as I found last week. I was really able to get the power out. And as you can see from the clouds up above, it is quite overcast. And so, uh, it's going to be a pretty chilly ride this morning, but I don't feel a whole lot of um, wind as I did last weekend. So I'm hoping that once my body gets warmed up, that I should be fine. So Jason is uh, doing his ride from the house today and uh, he wanted to do it. He mainly because he's not really doing a workout. So it wouldn't really make sense for him to ride around in circles again on the lake. So I could see why he wanted to ride here. So we're doing something a little different today. We are going to Lake Warmug again, except this time Joy's driving there. She's going to do a two hour workout going around the lake, similar to what we did last week. Um, but this week, I have a three hour, 45 minute endurance ride planned. So what I'm gonna do is ride from our house to Lake Warmog. And meet up with Joy there, then ride home with Joy in the car. So that's the plan for today. Um, it is a little chilly this morning, but uh, seems like it's you know getting a little bit better as the hours pass, and it's supposed to warm up a little bit later today. It should be a decent day. We'll see. I have to admit, I am. morning. I have to admit that I'm a little nervous about this ride because it's the first time that I've, I've ridden by myself on long rides before, but it's usually close by our house. This is the first time I'm venturing off solo to do a long ride. Uh, venturing off further from the house. So, a little nervous, but hopefully uh, I'll just try to ease into the ride, try to calm those nerves a little bit, and uh, should be fine.
So I'm uh, stopped here at Squ Squance Pond uh, just to um, to get a little fueling and uh, just to to give an update on the ride. So I'm uh, 11 and a half miles into the ride, and this is a this this is this route is going to be about 37 miles with I think 3,800 feet of climbing or or so probably will end up being a little more than that because it, it always ends up coming out to be a little a little longer distance and uh, elevation than than what was planned um, but joy was kind enough to map out this nice route for me and it's mostly familiar roads um, that we've ridden on before the only part of it that I'm not familiar with is as I get closer to um, to Lake Warmug uh, but there's there's two pretty tough climbs on this route. Uh, first one is coming up pretty soon, um, which is why I'm gonna to uh, get some fuel here, and that's uh, Cozier Hill Road, which is half a mile long and 12% average grade. And then the other one later in the ride, as I get close to Lake Warmug, is uh, Seeger Mountain, which is not not so steep. Uh, I believe it's only like 4% average grade or, or so, uh, but it's over four miles long. So it's a nice, long, steady effort. And uh, that one we've only done once before, I've only done once before, um, and that was in June of last year. Cozier Hill I haven't done in about a year. Um, I think it was around this time last year that that we did Cozier Hill for the, the, the last time. So that'll be a good test. And uh, ride is going well so far. Uh, it's kind of lonely here without Joy. I, I miss Joy. Uh, it's, it's definitely more fun um, riding with someone, especially someone who you love and enjoy their company um, so it's a little lonely riding solo but it's better than it's better than riding uh, indoors solo I guess I'll, I'll say and it's kind of an adventure so I'm uh, I'm enjoying it so far but uh, I'll I'll let you know if I'm I'll let you know later on if I'm still alive after Cozier Hill Road I'll uh, I'll turn on the camera again and give you another update on how I'm feeling all right, see you later. So this workout is has a 10 minute at threshold, 100% FTP effort in the beginning, and then another 10 minutes at threshold towards the end to end it with a couple of over unders splashed in the middle there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue to warm up. I want to do one loop again around the lake and uh, start the actual workout. I'm going to put you guys away.
So, just finished Cozier Hill Road Climb. Uh, I'm not real happy with how I did on it. Um, I actually don't know if I PR'd it because the Strava Live segment screen did come up when I was starting the climb and it said go so it looked like it registered that I was you know on the segment but then somewhere within that segment that li Strava Live segment screen disappeared and now when I look when I look at it on my Wahoo it just says it's a nearby segment. It's not showing that I completed it. So I really don't know if I PR'd it. Um, I'm assuming I did just because it was, last time I did it was a year ago, but I didn't feel that good on it. Um, on the one hand, it did feel easier than what I remembered. Like it didn't feel like, it didn't really feel like death. Like the, the last two times I did it, I was questioning whether I would survive. Today, it's, there was like no doubt. Um, there was no doubt that I was gonna make it. But uh, my legs just weren't generating good power. Um, so I probably PR'd it, but probably not by as much as I wanted to. Um, but the funny thing is, whenever we get to the top of this Cozier Hill Road, there's this power line with a sign that says shut up Tony and Joy and I always say we should change it to shut up legs yeah that that's a uh, that's a legit climb though it, it's like one of those that I feel like it's missing some chalk on the road like we should draw some some stuff on the road like you see on Zwift or on the um, you know the Tour de France mountain stages and stuff uh, again, it's only a half a mile climb, but that's a that's a legit grade. I mean, I was I was grinding away there, uh, even with my lighter bike in my 34 cassette. I was grinding away. So yeah, there's some steep parts there. Anyway, uh, gonna uh, dis do a little descent here down into Sherman and stop at the American Pie Company, see if they're open. And if they're open, I'm gonna grab a couple of donuts, one for me, one for Joy. Yeah, I just saw the sign. Thanks. Yeah. My wife is going to be disappointed. I'm meeting up with my wife somewhere and I told her I'd bring her a donut. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, American Pie Company is closed. Sorry, honey. I'm not gonna be bringing any treats, unfortunately. road climb which uh, it's actually a category four but it's not that hard uh, I think the only reason it's category four is because it's a mile long uh, but it's pretty moderate grade I took it pretty easy on that one um, yeah legs are not legs are not feeling great today I'm not feeling like I'm getting great uh, great power on the climbs um, so 
you know, I'm just going to kind of pace myself. Uh, shortly, I'm going to be starting the uh, Seeker Mountain climb. Um, so it's kind of saving my energy for that one because that is a long one. And even if I go easy on that, it's still, you know, it's probably a, a 20 plus minute sub threshold effort. So it's still you know, not easy. Just got done with the Seeger Mountain climb. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty tough one. Uh, it was uh, there were parts that were a little steeper than I remembered, but um, overall the steepness wasn't wasn't bad. It's freaking long though. It seemed like it took forever. It did kind of take forever. I finished it in uh, 24 26. So. Uh, I beat my my previous time by a little over two minutes and uh, so I guess I'm happy with that considering that I feel like my effort level today was about the same as it was last time we did that climb so I guess it's good that I'm a little bit faster with the same effort um, anyway it's been a fun ride so far I think I am getting close to done with it. I think I just have to, I'm on uh, Kent Hollow Road right now, and I think I just have to descend that, uh, and that'll bring me toward Lake Warmug. So uh, hopefully I will be joining up with Joy pretty soon. I'm not really sure where she's at with her workout. Um, when I get to the lake, she's probably gonna be still going around, but I'll, uh, I'll meet up with her at some point there. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a question to our male viewers out there. Uh, so, Joy really is trying to persuade me to shave my legs. And just wondering for you guys out there, um, any of our male viewers, do you shave your legs? And if so, have you noticed a, a considerable improvement in your cycling performance uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts uh, feel free to to put them in the comments down at the bottom of the video <laughs> expecting this little climb right here. Check this out. Turkey crossing the road. Gobble, gobble. Hey, 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 hey. 
hitched a ride. Well, bad news, everybody. I crashed my drone. I don't know exactly what happened. I had the obstacle avoidance sensor on, and for some reason, it still crashed into a tree, crashed onto the ground, splat. I thought maybe I could just replace the propellers because it looked like the propellers were damaged. I replaced the propellers and I tried flying it again and it did not work. <sighs> Luckily we have the warranty on it so we're gonna try to get the replacement. I think it's good for two replacements, right? Two replacements in one year or two years? So that's why I kind of wanted to test it out and get a little bit risky with it because I wanted to see how far it can go. So now I know that I have to be extra careful with it when we go to do, to take the drone again, and then we, I know what to, to expect. So yeah, I was pretty disappointed that that happened, but I, I think I would have to go super slow in order for it to like be able to follow me properly with all the trees and stuff. I'm bummed. Anyway, Jason's here. Yeah, he made it. He's uh, he had a good ride sound like it and uh, lots of climbing. Um, anyway, guys, that's all for today's ride and video and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, until next time, don't forget to enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.